Greetings from Brad Cunningham, the Success Loops Instrumental Inspiration Man. Uh, another epiphany. Now, basically, this is what I want to get across, which has been kind of pivotal. And it's how so many um, self-help people, um, a lot of people, that their intentions are good and all that, but they all kind of say that, oh, well, you're not where you want to be, so in order to get to where you want to be, you have to be something. You've got to do something. You you have to become something or you, you and often this, now this for me doesn't resonate with me. So it's kind of like you've got to be something you're not. And it's, and I think it goes against the grain of everything because everybody is born whole. So it's, it's that's why I follow the, uh, enjoy the Tony Robbins and the Dr. John D. Martini because they're trying to look at fundamental truths. And it's not about, oh, you need to do this, this, and this, and this, and that. Basically, they look at, first of all, it's like saying, you've got to be yourself because um, the, being created by the powerful forces of the universe, they don't mess up. There, there isn't a fault, there isn't a bugger up, you're not a mistake. You are here, you are whole, you are complete. And uh, there's nothing you need to do to complete yourself. And if you're trying to get things done from the point of a place of feeling incomplete or having to or be something that you're not, you're never going to get there. And uh, so it's more about being, getting to know what you really, really are. Because so often we've covered up with so much of other BS, trying to be what every consumer companies trying to sell us and make us believe that that's what we need to be or do we need to then take the time to get to really get out know ourselves check out what makes us tick what is our authentic self and then kind of align more truly with that especially with the inner beingness self soul self part of you and then once you've once you've done that and sort out those higher values those higher vibrational values those better frequencies then you can st start looking at ah, what is the next inspired step to take that still aligns you with you, and that is uh, that is a big secret. So don't listen to anybody that tells you that you must uh, drive this car or wear this watch or do this and be that or wear these clothes and la la la. It's not about that. It's about coming back to getting back to the cross roots, getting back into uh, yourself, getting to. To, to know your yourself and see it from a more of a uh, how can you put this a celestial perspective not just the earthbound judgmental one but I'm talking about the more unconditional loving source to look at yourself and once you can see yourself from that perspective and uh, look at yourself closely in all your acceptance without any suppression of bullshit um, I think we're then well on our way and then from then on seek like what is it that what is the inspired action from there on that I could do that could bring me to the the greatest vision that I have for myself the, the grandest version go today's epiphany peace out much love the big cigar